story of this dulcimer starts oh, over 30 years ago when I first encountered the Hammer Dulcimer. They played what you'd think of as fiddle tunes. Which is fiddle tunes are cool, there's one problem, there's no words. I wanted to be able to sing. I played piano and guitar and drums and I heard this instrument and I could see how I could put it all together in this one instrument. They were playing fiddle tunes and I was hearing the Beatles. I said, I could rock on this thing. So I did three things. The first thing is I built a traditional hammer dulcimer, but I developed a modern style of playing, a rhythm style of playing to play chords instead. If I hadn't been able to do that, I would have given up the instrument right then, but I could. Here's a piano that I could play like a drum. And then I developed more and more complicated rhythm styles of playing. So what started out is... modern rock blues bluegrass country original it was all the same to me it was all about songs and that's what I learned to do I'm not a hammer dulcimer player I'm a singer who plays the hammer dulcimer just like I'm a singer who plays the guitar and just like any percussionist or playing piano or guitar I developed different rhythms and styles for all the types of music like the first person to sit down with a piano and instead of playing Mozart figure out how to play the blues well, I learned how figured out how to play the, the blues on the hammer dulcimer. The other thing I did was extend the range. You can't sing very well with just this high sound. So I took the original hammer dulcimer, which is really this upper part here, about an octave, an octave and a half, up to maybe two octaves. And I extended it to five octaves, down lower than a bass guitar, to get the deeper tones you need to sing with. Basically the five octaves that I played on the piano as a singer all the sharps and flats and all the keys so I would have no restrictions on what I wanted to play. And instead of just going further up or further down, I went further across and added extra bridges, laced more strings together. Instead of just the normal two sets of strings, I have four sets of strings laced together. Then the final thing I did is I built the world's first solid body electric hammer dulcimer. It's a solid body, not a hollow body. I built my own machine to wind my own pickups 18 inches long, but they're still just like an electric guitar. If I turn those off, it's gone. And I can rock the house if I want. touch it if I want. And still shake the floor. Or I can turn it down. This is the culmination of many prototypes. The world's first five octave solid body electric camera dulcimer. So that's what I did. I developed a modern style of playing. I 
I extended the range and I built the electric solid body.